2003 Pontiac Montana V6 guess what bad head gasket yeah but you know what this is so much better to work on than a Ford this thing this Pontiac Montana man this motor is built like a tank they put that thing together like a boss for reals we got it all cleaned up it's a push rod motor some little dinghy holes are for the push roddies and we got our this is a 2003 mind you American motor and here's our intake plenum and I'll be happy to point out that that whole cocksucker is made out of metal that one over there the cap also made out of metal the valve covers are also made out of metal the whole fucking shit oh my god it's made out of metal on this motor wow what a concept push rod motor back front you know what that means that means you do the you do the freaking the head gaskets and you don't piss around with timing beautiful so here here's the heads got them we're cleaning them all up that's the exhaust manifold two bolts and a gasket Psh, done no timing clean it up gaskets put it back together beautiful Pontiac Montana they did good they did good piss on a Ford this is where it's at man I could work on this I mean it's a bloody mess but I know why and by the time we're done it won't be started yesterday barely got after it today we're gonna put new plugs and wires on it because they're original at least the three in the back they fell apart when we pulled the freaking boots off but yeah I figured I'd share that check the fuel rail injectors look like crap this thing was running smooth as could be it would just overheat it we're gonna put it back together and it's gonna be beautiful well we'll try and clean up the injectors a bit and then you know the the kit we bought has it's a pretty badass kit new head bolts some gasket seal exhaust gasket we bought a new thermostat but that wasn't part of the kit bought a new water pump that wasn't part of the kit either but the kit does have all the gaskets EGR water pump thermostat etc etc head gaskets intake gaskets exhaust gaskets valve cover gaskets injector o-rings spring seals boom 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 one two three the whole shaboingo kit beautiful and it ain't a ford look at how thin that is yeah that's original for sure that's original Look. She's not had any Look. spark plugs. I'm loosening this plug with my finger. Not in her lifetime. I never even put the ratchet on this. Incredible. Nothing there. And it come out that loose? Yeah. Shit. This loose. Just I was like there's nothing the there. With my fingers. It was running freaking nice. Yeah. This thing's gonna run even better, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. I want to see what this looks like when we take it out. I mean, not that we couldn't look at it from the underside, but... Well, yeah, but you can't really get in there and look at it. This is true. Holy fuck, that is so thin. Oh, that's not quite as thin as the other one. The other one was way thinner. It's still half Man, this one's like paper thin in comparison. Cheese and rice. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, so I guess today we're doing eco modding kind of stuff to this car. We have not been. Do I need instructions? No, thank you, wife. <laughs> good times this thing was actually running nice 
it was actually running nice like man I was impressed when I got into the car and I felt how smooth the motors felt this is impressive Wow 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 we Wow this one looks great but here for comparison and put it into context there ain't nothing there and then this one that one looks pretty decent Oh, there's nothing there. It's right there. Oh. Well, shit, man. I mean, I would have expected, like, the front three, but the front three looked like maybe they were changed a long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. I mean, this is a 03. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they were changed a long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> what, that back one? Oh, the back. Oh, <laughs> That was the absolute worst, huh? Yeah. That underneath the alternator one? Yeah. Oh, I'm Jesus. That was nasty, nasty. Well, here we go. Get some pretty new ones. Copper, Quivery, Cobre. That's what's up. Good stuff. Delicious. Pontiac Montana not too terrible I must admit I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this little motor I like the fact that there's so much metal in it it's not a whole bunch of plastic shit I really do like that only plastic is like well here where this goes onto the throttle body that's where it starts to be plastic and so your manifold airflow math mass airflow sure because the manifold absolute goes back here on the back of this guy up there on the cover but it's on there on the back side yeah I like that very little plastic on important shit what do you think the bottom of that thermostat looks like it looks like the rest of the shit with all that freaking sealant on it. Yeah, look at wow. <sighs> all that rubber freaking copper seal shit. Yuck. Look what it did to the freaking O ring. Yuck. We got new ones. Don't worry. We'll fix it. Don't worry, Pontiac. All your metal, you're going to get fixed. Shit. This ain't no plastic. Let's clean it and put it back together with a new thermostat. It's going to be happy as hell. Good thing we got one of them in your kit. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, in your damn intro net researches, huh? Yep. Yes. God damn it. That guy's smart. He knows some car shit. Yes. Uh, Fucking Pontiac. $300 less than what they want at your parts store. Fucking A, man. That's going to be nice and clean. Once we get that shit put together, they can do one of those engine cleans and shit and fucking knock all that grease and shit and everything else off. And it'll be happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. we got to get the cleaning going. It's going to be great. It's going to be righteous. They're going to sing songs about us. <laughs> hmm, just like Jared said, aviation form of gasket. Good enough for airplane, good enough for me. And so... Put it on the stuff, put on our gaskets, not that we don't have gaskets, I'm using it like gasket tack, it's going to be great, got that guy all cleaned up over there, top and bottom, I'm about to bolt them back together. Okay, so we got the two heads on with the exhaust, at least that much, all in one big floppy piece. And then it goes 37 foot pounds in your torque pattern plus 90 degrees. So we need to do our plus 90 degrees there. And Jared's going to take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the gasket surfaces here and get everything ready for an aircraft. <laughs> and it's going together real nice and happy. So 
90 degrees, stretch bolts. Good thing they came in the kit. Ding dong, ding dong. Who's there? Good ideas. You did good, Mr. Jared. You did very good. Huh, huh, huh. 90 degrees. I'm glad I did the 37 foot pounds. <laughs> good man, good man. Oh yeah, let's put radiator stop leak in our freaking radiator. Right, sure. Here, let me get a let me get a fresh finger going. And I'll show you. Okay. This is that copper radiator stop leak shit. This? That, that tried to plug the freaking holes in the head gasket on the old one. This shit didn't like the head gasket. It wanted to do this and make and plug it. All the head gasket, all the way. That's what it wanted to do. So we're scooping this shit out. I was trying to plug everything. Yeah, fix the problem. Don't take pills. Just about there. Oh, one or two more things to put on. Just about. She gonna be good here soon.